What's up everyone, it's Rudo Wavy, but you guys can call me Rudo. We're back with another collectible video. This time we're on Doom Hunter base. There are 16 total items. I will be showing you all 16, including the extra lives. Let's get into it. Directly after you get off the train, you wanna go forward and look up and jump on this wall. You'll have to jump across to another wall and then climb up. When you reach the top, right in front of you, you'll see a mod bot. Now from there, you want to turn around and go straight and jump on the monkey bar. When you swing across and climb up, you'll notice in the distance to your right is your first Praetor suit point. Now if you turn to the right from that Praetor suit point, you'll notice an extra life in the distance. You just want to jump across using your double jump and dashes. All right, when you make it to this location, after you finish the encounter, you wanna head to this specific spot and melee the grate and head underground. When you follow the path and exit out of the other side, you will obtain your first Sentinel battery. This next item is a codex entry. This is actually gonna be in the same area where that battery was. You just wanna continue forward towards the mission objective. Once you go through this door and reach the top of the stairs, you'll see it. The next item is going to be a toy. When you come to this location, you'll have to finish an encounter first, but then you want to jump on top of these objects and you'll notice a question mark right in the middle of a tunnel. Just dash and double jump across. From there, if you continue on the story path, you'll come across two more items. The first one will be a codex entry, and directly from where you pick that up, if you continue on, you'll come across a room. Next, we'll be getting a record album. When you get to this area, you'll notice a cylinder-shaped structure with climbable walls. We're going to be climbing up and entering through a hole. Now, there might be an easier way to get this one, but I chose to jump out, turn around, and dash back to grab the other side. And then, you just drop down. Now, when we progress forward from where we picked up that record album, we're going to come across a cheat code. You'll see another climbable wall. This time, we're gonna climb around and up to the top. Now you'll notice a hole right in front of you. If you drop directly down the hole, you'll come across another Praetor suit point. When you get into this next area, we're gonna be getting three items. You'll want to do a small jumping puzzle and you'll swing on a monkey bar. You want to enter through that small window and directly to your right is the sentinel battery. Directly below from where you picked up that battery is an extra life. You're going to want to jump down to a lower level out of the window you just came in. And when you get to the lower level, it'll be to your right. Now from where you pick that up, if you go across to the opposite side, you're going to come across a sentinel crystal. Now it's time to get another Praetor suit point. When you come to this area that has a bunch of laser walls, you're going to have to take out some enemies. But once you take the enemies out, the Praetor suit point is going to be above your head on this little platform. You just want to jump on top of the box and then double jump up to it. In this next area, we're going to be getting another extra life. You're going to want to jump and swing on this monkey bar. When you get to the other side, you want to melee the wall out so you can enter the room. Climb up, you'll see a turbine. On the opposite side of the turbine is the extra life. Now we're going to be getting another Praetor suit point that is on top of this octagon shaped structure. 
you'll have to do a small jumping puzzle to get up here and you'll battle some enemies. Just make your way around the perimeter and eventually you will come to the Praetor suit point. When you make your way to this area by following the story path, you'll come down this ramp and you'll see a codex entry at the bottom. Right after you grab that codex entry, if you turn around and look up, you'll see a shootable button that will expose a secret area where you will obtain the final collectible. Alright guys, that's going to do it for Doom Hunter Base. I just want to thank you all for the amount of support that you do give me, whether it be big or small. If my videos are helpful and you do enjoy them, feel free to leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.